Quakes are evidence that those tectonic plates are always on the move. In fact, every tremor is a sign that our planet's changing. It's always been changing. And one place we can see direct evidence of this is on New York's Staten Island. Staten Island is kind of a microcosm of the dynamic Earth. On Staten Island, we have evidence of an ancient divergent plate boundary as we have here, where plates were spreading apart. Underneath the graffiti are rocks that tell the story of Earth's dynamic past. Go back 400 million years, and there was just one continent, Pangaea. The same forces that power earthquakes broke this giant landmass into pieces and sent them going in all different directions. At one time, Africa was connected to the North American continent, and at that time, we didn't have an Atlantic Ocean. Pangea broke apart. Africa went one way, we went the other way. The present-day Atlantic started to open around 200 million years ago. Like the strands of encoded information that make up our DNA, geologists can look at the makeup of rocks to determine their origins. And Alan Benamoff and his team are seeing that the same rocks from Staten Island are showing up in different areas all over the globe. The rock here is called Diabase. That's the name of the rock. Over in Africa, we'll find similar rocks. Now separated by thousands of miles, these rocks were once part of the same landmass. But tectonics separated them and moved them across the globe. This shows us that the Earth is in a constant state of change. In fact, our planet looked like this for less than 1% of its history. And it's changing even today. So what will Earth look like a million, 10 million, 100 million years from now? Assuming things continue on their current path, Africa will slam into Southern Europe as North America slides west. Antarctica will head north as Australia sideswipes Southeast Asia. We're always gonna have oceans and continents, but we know one thing, the continental configuration and oceanic configuration won't look like it looks now in the future. 